Um, viewers, good morning and uh, happy new year. I believe that all of us, in one way or the other, we played football. We played any 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 game when we were growing up, mm -hmm. meaning that we were we were talented, but no one had an opportunity to probably to show us the way. So all of us, I believe that we have a talent, but it's a matter of how do we discover, how do we nurture that talent mm -hmm. that has pushed us as examination body, uh, being a, a, a business development man, uh, a coordinator for ICM, and in partnership with Zitec University, we're looking at developing, a, we've developed a curriculum that is not a matter of just going there physically to play, uh, be football, uh, be rugby, but look at how now we can professionalize the, the talent itself into into a career that help young people to earn a living from that. Mm -hmm. So there's a need uh, because the, 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 the concern that we'll, all will talk about is unemployment. And people don't realize that football is already a field that we can create employment. So we looked at how do we create these uh, uh, opportunities, this, this field of uh, uh, talent into something that can, can generate employment. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've gone out there partnering relevant stakeholders, being a training institution, uh, being foundation, that we can now look at, are we able to create employment from the talents? That so, 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 so regardless of how, how big or small someone may perceive a talent to be, it has relevance? It has relevance. And uh, being a, having worked with the UK, UK examination, you realize mm. that uh, most of us, we watch Manchester United and Arsenal. Yeah. We support them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's because they identified opportunity in talent, and that's why they're promoting soccer. Mm -hmm. And soccer is a big, big industry. And, and, and they earn from what they do? They earn, they earn a lot. In, in fact, which, which team do you support? Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they earn from it. They earn from it. This footballer. Exactly. Mm. And uh, you will see, if we, don't, if we don't now tie the career, the talent itself, to the academic, then even having this, this talented young man uh, losing focus is easier. Yeah. Take an example of how many, how many footballers, how many uh, talented young people that you've had, they were, they, were so, they were so talented, they were so big, the, the names were big, but right now, it's an empty shell. It's because they lacked the education. Now, we're talking about now the education aspect and the career aspect. Put them together to get a holistic person. Powerful, powerful. Now, is it possible for you to succeed without talent? It is possible to succeed without talent mm. because you may take academic route. Mm -hmm. But without education and, and talent alone, you cannot succeed. Okay. So there's a need for us now to connect education, education and, and talent. talent. And building up. And you, you build it up together. Exactly. Uh, so... so um, when you you look into the into someone's individual um, a, a life when it comes to building up, um, how the, what are the, the the ways that someone can go through the journey of you know self discovery to build themselves up in, you know in in regards to the talent that they have? Uh, first of all, we want to appreciate that uh, even the, the government itself realize that there's a need for them to set even a field in secondary schools, on primary schools, for young people to start playing. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's because they realize that there's an opportunity in self-discovery. And that's why there's a break time. We'll mm -hmm. run with football in the field. Why are we doing that? So that mm -hmm. we can now start discovering ourselves. And self-discovery, we normally say that uh, there are stages in life on a person's life. One of the fundamental stages in one's life is discovering who you are. The moment you discover who you are, then now you get the relevant network, the relevant people that can help you nurture that mm -hmm. becomes very, very important. Mm -hmm. So at what stage does someone discover himself? Exactly. Uh -huh. So that is at the most stage? important thing. At mm -hmm. what stage? That stage normally comes with self-connection, self-having a meeting with yourself. The ones a, a, a person has a meeting with themselves, then this person is able to differentiate what is good and what is bad. Well, rather than just wait uh, playing soccer for, for fun, now you convert it into money. But now, but now Kevin, there, there, there's a parent who is watching us from home, who has a son or a daughter. Uh, how can they also help their son in uh, that journey of self-discovery so that their child can also get to know that they are talented in something? A very good question. Our parents, I think when we were growing up, most of them, they could push, at, push us for education. Have you done an assignment? Have you done an assignment? Are you number one? Are you number one? All, of, all our parents were number oh, one. They were number one. <laughs> yes. My father loved <laughs> mathematics. He was number one in mathematics. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the, 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 where, what we are encouraging parents, uh -huh. over the weekend, can you create time? Take your son to the field. Where the other, other people or other uh, children are playing soccer. Try to find out. 
is it possible that he can play soccer? Take him probably to act, uh, media and uh, theater acting. Is it possible that we can discover the person? Mm -hmm. Because when in the house, you'll see your child learning, uh, running around, uh, making noise, uh, probably uh, singing. So as a parent, help your child to discover his mm -hmm. or her talent. Mm -hmm. Then from there, take a step of faith by connecting to the right field. And that's why us at ZTech University and uh, ICM examination, we've developed the curriculum that can now, other than just uh, uh, coming to class for your academic and after that you take your books and go home, is there time for you to walk in the field? But then how, how, how can a, a, a parent help their child to bring that balance? Because you have your talent and you have education. You have laid emphasis that, ed that talent without education is nothing. How can you lay that balance for your child? Very, very important. Uh, the TV that we talk about right now is not about uh, what have you scored? Mm. Uh, have you gotten an A? Have you gotten a B? Or what, what marks have you gotten? So what we normally look at is uh, how do you balance, what, 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 what are the skills that this person has? Other than that's the, the, the aspect of academic. Mm -hmm. And that's why you talk about the competency based. So Sorry. the competence, mm -hmm. you look at the skill, the technical skill that this person has that can add value to this person. Uh, a very good example is our, our engineer brother, Olunga, who's playing right now football. Mm -hmm. yeah. As much as he's doing his engineering course, you realize that uh, football is the, is, the, is the main thing. In fact, people will, will know Olunga more about uh, uh, football, football than even his as a football than, 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 than an engineer. Yes, yes, yes. So to me, I think what we need to do as a parent is uh, by taking time, creating time with our children. Mm. And when you create time with our children, there are so many facilities that are around us. There are so many uh, soccer, there are so many uh, uh, theater rooms that we can take our children. Rather than having watching uh, a TV in the house, why can't you create that time on Saturday or, uh, or an afternoon and try to connect these young people? Because as we said, the career has to be built, has to be mentored. It's not just a one thing, then you become that talented person. Mm. Then as uh, the training institution like universities and the uh, examination body, we also concern with when now this person is talented, physically fit, is he in a position to write, to, uh, even to sign his own contract? Mm -hmm. Does he understand the contract? Does he, the, does he understand the communication aspect? Uh, uh, the, the, the life skills? How, how does he relate with other players? So those are now the things that we now come in to help this person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not when you play this soccer, how, for how long are you going to play this soccer? For how long are you going to play this music? Mm -hmm. It will reach a time when now this talent may not support you. And that's when education has to be in. Mm -hmm build your business and uh, now the, we, we've talked about parenting for, for, the, for the parents let's come back to the youth yes um, as a young man um, is it possible um, and how can someone go through this the process of you know building their talent regardless of um, their academics because now um, we are in a time where education there's some emphasis that has been laid on education mm -hmm. and uh, the same energy is not translated when it comes to uh, you know a talent and uh, talent search and uh, you know talent enhancement mm -hmm. is it possible for an individual now be a, as a young man for me to be able to achieve that uh, thank you uh, I, I believe that you we, we blame our parents and leadership for a very long time mm -hmm. And we also have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of time. We have, we, 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 you, you are talented, but you're waiting for someone to push you. You remember, like, uh, have you done the assignment? You're waiting for someone to cane you. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I've, I've been watching, like, uh, at, I'll take an I'll use the example of a Churchill show. Mm. You realize that most of those comedies, they'll tell you, when you listen to their journey, ser journey series, eh, they'll tell you that uh, I attended those shows a hundred and uh, times. Yeah. Meaning that they mm -hmm. never gave up. True. They want to go there. Mm. They'll, be, they'll be disappointed. They'll be told, no, you cannot make it, but they'll keep on going there. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's uh, to you, where is your direction? If I'm a footballer, will I go to church singing? If I'm a footballer, let me find myself self-discipline in the field every time. Then when I'm in the field, I now need to start now connecting with the relevant uh, uh, institutions, like the universities, like the colleges, yeah? so that, or even the clubs, so that I can promote myself. So it starts by an individual discovering himself and self-discipline, then move the right direction. And uh, what, what, what about branding? Is branding also important in, in, in talent? Branding will come in when now you've gotten the knowledge, the education. Mm -hmm. And that's why as ZTEC University, as ICM, mm -hmm. will be there. Mm -hmm. Because this person, if you don't have knowledge on life skills, you will find yourself messing in town here. You talk about your, your, your stubborn, you're messing in town. So mm -hmm. the branding, 
you have to protect your brand because the brand is the name. Who yes. is likely to sign a footballer well, uh, next time you will hear that, oh, he's in drugs and so on. Mm -hmm. So discipline, very, very important. It, 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 it boils down to character. Character. And I'll always tell uh, uh, players uh, as a trainer that drugs does not pay. It will never help you. Mm -hmm. So this in discipline and drugs will not help you. You could be a good footballer, but without discipline you're killing your career. Some go for enhancement so that they can boost their performance. Uh, there's a reason why God created us to a certain speed. Mm -hmm. So don't, 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 don't use drugs. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, they'll have impact. In fact, negative impact in your life. So we're just talking about natural, talented young men and women who are out there to build their own career. Mm -hmm. There's no need for you to use enhancement. What about recognition? There are many who are talented, but they don't. They lack, you know, um, the, the the space to be recognized, the the place uh, to showcase their talent. How can I, the, the youth, go through uh, that? Uh, over over December holiday, we had an opportunity to to partner as ICM examination body and uh, ZTEC University to partner mm -hmm. with th three foundations in Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. That was Philip Etale Foundation, mm -hmm. um, Baraza Foundation, and David Wamati Foundation. What you're looking at, they, they, were cre they created a soccer tournament where they were looking at, like, Barasa Foundation had 1,200 teams, women, youth, uh, male, and uh, ladies, where we're looking at how do we identify these opportunities. Mm -hmm. In Philip Italy and uh, David Wamad, we had 18 teams. So as a university and examination body, we worked there to partner with them. Then rather than just playing a soccer tournament for, three, for December uh, three weeks, eh, we went to an extent of where now we're looking at how do we pick the talented young people and now they can move to the training institution. Mm -hmm. So opportunities there. Mm -hmm. Now, from this local, we, we've moved to the village in Kakamega, we're in Lugari, and now we are trying to play uh, 18 teams. So as a serious, talented young man, I think it will be, it will, it will be a responsibility for you to walk into one of the teams mm -hmm. so that your, case, your, your, your talent can be identified. So without walking there, it becomes, uh, becomes tricky. So like in, 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 in Italy, we're able to get like two, two I think um, two, two young people whom now are getting scholarship at the university. In uh, Mumias, Mumias uh, David Wamath, we got one, one, one youth who's getting a, a scholarship. So now you see, it's not about, about just playing soccer in, in the village and remain there. Mm. Now we are picking the, the boy from the village, from Mumias, mm. and now taking him to the university. Where talent now, such. Talent such. And uh, we, we had uh, different teams, different, uh, different scouts coming there mm -hmm. for just to identify the, 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 the soccer. So for me, they also to encourage the leadership and uh, the locals that let's organize most of these tournaments and so on, but not just organizing to give these young people money, uh, 50,000 and then we are done with that. Let's organize a tournament that can help build a career for these young people. After that, mm -hmm. do we take them to school? After that, what else? And probably we also not, not just limit to the, to the soccer, mm. look at the rugby, look at acting, look at so many talent that mm -hmm. can help these young people grow. Now, now, now um, when it comes to talent, let me refer to one more terminology, skill. When, um, what is the difference and uh, how can we be able to put skill into talent thereby translating into uh, an income earning uh, uh, you know, uh, activity through building up a career? Um, a skill, I'm looking at uh, probably uh, this, this young man has, has shown that he can, he can kick the ball. Yes. But to what extent? And that's why now we need to connect the person with the coach. Mm -hmm. So when you connect the person with the coach, now he improves on that skill. I believe, I don't know how, how you found yourself in media, <laughs> but I believe, <laughs> I believe that uh, you had the passion probably to, to tell the story, to yes, tell us the story. Yes, yes, I so when you, find, you want to tell the story now, mm -hmm. you'll probably find yourself now going to learning environment. So when you connect now with the coach, coach now try to improve into the skills. And I'm looking at this player, as I said earlier, what is the purpose for you uh, doing the exercise or uh, doing the practice? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at converting it, this skill into an employment. And uh, I, 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 I think uh, we should not look at our talent as an entertainment. Because mm -hmm. if you, I'm going to play, to run, to run in the field for, for, for 45 minutes, then after that, I'm going home to shower and, and sleep. That is not helping. How do you pay when you're transporting your, your, your meal? That's what you're saying now. Convert that skill into a professional. 
that now we will connect you with a club, as a university will connect with a club, that the club can sign you as a professional. So see now, we picked you from the village, we connected with the coach, we've given you knowledge, skills, leadership, marketing, uh, personal skills, and now we are connected with a team, a, a, a team that is playing on the Premier League or whichever level, that helps you now to earn a living from that. Now, when you look at um, these examples you've given, you've given a, 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 you've laid lots of emphasis on you know activities like f f footballers. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about indoor activities, in indoor talent. You know, um, artists, um, uh, people, th those who draw. You know, those who do um, skits, drama. Mm -hmm. I, I, how best c um, can persons? like uh, who, who, who engage in such activities and enable themselves to, to, to build because the outdoor activities like soccer, you connect them to coaches. coaches. What about these indoor activities? Still at, uh, uh, at the university, Zitek University, mm. we, we, have, uh, we have acting media department mm. and uh, I've seen a number of, a number of youth who are, who are, who are doing, who are doing uh, electrical engineering diploma uh -huh. and right now they're doing local shows in acting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed, but I've seen a youth who was doing electrical right now is acting in a certain show I've seen it's called Maria, it's shown in a certain TV somewhere. Uh -huh. So you see, this was an engineer, but he realized this engineering thing is not my thing. It's not my thing, yeah. So he did engineering. They, they left it? They left it. Go to the talent. But because they were, there was a forum within the institution that provided the acting aspect, now they're already in the, in the industry. So it's all about now the environment, the, the institution that we have. Are they there just for learning purposes or they're creating these rooms? Mm -hmm. So we need to have a room where we're helping these young people. Don't, okay, academic is good. And we appreciate, we, we have graduates every year, <laughs> year in, year out. But after that, what next? What next, what next? But now, if, if you look at, um, you said what next? Because after graduation, everyone is uh, job seeking looking for a job, tarmacking. The youths outside there are unemployed, but they have a talent. But now, if, uh, if you're talking about talent, especially in, in a career, can talent be also a criterion of qualification, especially when uh, assessing what skills uh, one may have uh, in a given role? And, and that's why, for me as a can't, we need to change our thinking. Um, I've given an example. I happen to to have an opportunity to work, I'm working with the UK, UK system, especially the, 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 the assessment, the examination. And you realize that uh, um, they'll, they'll pick a young, a young man or a young boy and put him in an in a, in a, in a, in academy, soccer academy. Mm. So that they are not interested that this person has a master's or a PhD, but they're interested in this skill. Now yeah. within the academy, you realize that the other things, the training, the, the computer, the, there's a clinic, there's a hospital. So there's uh, so many facilities that is happening there. There's a, there are teachers, not only just soccer, but there's so many activities. So I think as a country, it's a matter of uh, uh, we need to change our thinking and look at how do we create more employment mm -hmm. within the talent than looking at the academic. Okay. Uh, you will agree with me that when you look at uh, the aspect of betting, Mm. Uh, so many people here. There's, there's a lot of money that circulates within the betting, <laughs> and people make a lot of money. <laughs> Billions of <laughs> <Billions. Yeah. laughs> Which means that we like, we like uh, sporting. So how do we harness that opportunity? Mm -hmm. How do we create opportunity? Someone was, was challenging me that uh, when people talk about blue economy, just use this example, blue economy. Yes, yes. What, what, what do we look at? What are the opportunities there? People mm. probably talk about a ship. Yes. But no one, no one is thinking about now creating tourism, maybe a hotel that can float on, on the sea. So you see, you can, can create uh -huh. a hotel that can float on the sea. But people are not looking at that opportunity. Creativity. Creativity. People are not looking, people are look, not looking at the divers. How many divers can we, can, can we train from that? So for me, it's like how many opportunities can we look at within the sporting? Are we, not talk, are we not only talking about coaching and the football himself? Or are we looking at, are we going extra mile and look at other opportunities that we can create within that? Yet, you know, there are still challenges when it comes to this. We are saying, people, be creative. You are saying, people, you know, go out there, do things. But you see, people are being, being taken advantage of. 
the youths, people are taking, taking advantage of the youths. You know, that, uh, you know, they're told to volunteer here, they, they work there with no pay, and they end up getting devastated and losing interest even in, in, in the talents. How can that be solved? It, 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 it comes to, I think this one's all about the honesty from the leadership. Mm -hmm. If we can have probably like every county creating, creating an a, a academy, uh -huh. and probably an, a theater room, each county, and see how we can create opportunities within, uh, within, within the industry. Probably be acting, be theater. How many comedians do we have? So many of them. But they're just working on, on their own. Eh? Not, the, the, there's no an organized forum where we can have opportun creating opportunities. Because I believe media will want to advertise. Mm. So by advertising, that's already an opportunity. So how would we create, how do we harness this economy? How do we harness this opportunity? from the talent that we have, from the sporting that we have. I think it's, it's a challenge to the leadership so that we don't use them, but we make, make, make use of the opportunity and create more resources. You've been walking around the, the country and beyond, I don't know, but as you've been walking you know, in this talent search, getting to interact with the youths, what are the, some, some of the weaknesses that you've, and, and challenges you've noticed that uh, are there predominantly in most youths when it comes to talent development uh, it turning into an income generating activity? Um, I had an opportunity to visit at least 10 countries and um, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the greatest challenge that we have is uh, uh, I think uh, the attitude first of all from the players, mm. those, those youth themselves, because they've been used before. <laughs> an exactly. Ex an example where, <laughs> where an example where an area 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 MP will organize a tournament mm. and probably pays these young people. So the, he, he, he put them in the field to run for two weeks or three weeks sweating. Then a team of probably twenty two people, then when they win you are given probably uh, twenty thousand as a winning team. Mm. You see, you, you feel used. Because 20,000 20, out of 22 players for two weeks, having run two weeks and so on, it doesn't help you. Then you, you, you've, you've won the tournament. What, what next after that? Mm -hmm. So the, the attitude now, you, you kill the morale. You kill, attitude. Yeah, you kill mm -hmm. the, the, these young people. Mm -hmm. Then the honest now, you see, these are two things. You've, you, you've destroyed the attitude of these, young, of these players. Then you, you, yourself as a leader, are you honest? Because you don't have a vision for that. You're only there to gain mileage. And then after that, you left these young people. So that's why we're saying now, let's have training institutions. Just think beyond training these young people. Let, convert, let them convert the talent and sporting into something, into something productive mm -hmm. that can help us mm -hmm. build ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, um, projects. Uh, I'm looking at the events that um, you've been in, engaged in as uh, someone who you know, looks into talent development. Uh, as we bring this discussion to a close, what are the projects that people, youth should be looking out for and how can they uh, you know, get into contact with you for someone who is talented and wants to build their talent and take it to the next level? Mm, I think this one I'll now talk as a, an outreach officer for ZTEC. Uh, Zitec University, that uh, we develop a curriculum with ICM as a UK examination. So I'm looking at uh, youth who is uh, out there and he feels he's talented. Don't just sit. If you feel you're talented, even if you scored a D at at at, at form four, mm. walk at a university. Mm. You walk at a university and try to inquire which course can you take. Because mm. right now we've they've restructured mm. the education system with your D. You can start from a, from artisan to your PhD. Mm. So Lord, don't just sit at home, take a step, walk to these, uh, our, 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 our institutions, uh, walk to ZTEC University, mm -hmm. get admission for, for, for a course, then once you get admission for a course, for mm. course join a club. So the, the, they should physically come to uh, your, your location at ZTEC? They should, they should physically, physically, come. physically come, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, uh, I would like to give you just uh, one final word to speak to the nation in regards to talent uh, within just 10 seconds. What are your thoughts in regards to the Kenyan talent and uh, your thoughts, whether is it being tapped or not? Just w within um, you know, 10 seconds or, or, or 20. Uh, uh, thank you, my brother. I, I, I think uh, people are out there, uh, the likes of Ghost Mule, they're, they're doing a lot of work. Mm. The lack of tra the, the training institution are doing a lot of work. But it, uh, that is not enough. So le let's, let's partner, let's, let's move together and uh, create more opportunities in the talent 
than our academic thing that academic will give us a job mm -hmm. because we'll get frustrated as graduates waiting for a job waiting for someone to employ in the bank yet you, you're a soccer yet you're an actor wasting your talent so for me is to call upon the youth change your attitude discover yourself move from just a comfort zone mm -hmm. and move this institution that will help you build your career that is Kevin Osundwa, lecturer and a business development manager. Thank you, my brother, for coming today. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to Kenyans and youth out there. Don't sit in the comfort zone. Remember, as he has said, do not be comfortable. Do not sit there expecting things to create a uh, manner from heaven. Do something with your talent. Well, that brings us to the end of this uh, show right here on Why in the Morning. It has been a pleasure uh, being with you all the way from 7 till now may god bless you and may god bless the work of your hands see you again tomorrow for another edition of why in the morning keep it y254 my name is ram aguko have a good day